comparisons. There's very little between the two Citroens, but it's Danny who has the edge. Two temps up going into the final sector. Coming up to the finish boards now, and it's going to be close. Not quite, he's lost a bit of time late on in there and finishes just over a second slower than his teammate. Unlike here, Francois Duval has left his setup alone. The Belgian clearly happy with his focus. He started well, but with the car understeering, he could struggle to stay ahead of Hevenen here. He does just enough, but he's only just over a second ahead now. Yes, uh, it's quite not so bad. Uh, I know I changed my setting for the, the second run, and uh, it's quite okay. Uh, still uh, on the steer, but uh, I prefer I continue on the same setting and I improve the, the pace not. Chris Atkinson, meanwhile, has finally found some speed after a difficult morning when he struggled with the Impreza's setup on soft compound tyres. A change to the hard rubber has made all the difference. The Australian is almost 19 seconds quicker than the earlier run through here and sets the fifth fastest time. Yari Mati Latvala is back with the Stobart team for these two tarmac rounds, and after a disastrous series of mistakes, the Finn's confidence has taken a real hit. He's understandably taken his time to build up his pace, but is steadily gaining on Andreas Mikkelsen ahead of him in seventh. The young Norwegian privateer has made a very impressive start in what is actually his sixth tarmac rally, despite being in the early stages of his career. That's the target time Andreas needs to match to retain his position. And he's done it, but only just. He's now only 1.6 seconds ahead. Mikkelsen remains in seventh for now, though he's just behind Ermo Arva. Up front, Loeb still leads, now 8.8 .8 seconds ahead of Sordo, with the four drivers still sitting third and fourth. It's still a Citroen 1 2 then, and the boys at four are struggling to stay in touch. The final two stages of day one are coming up after the break. Welcome back to the opening day of the Rally de Catalunya. Before we move on to the day's final two stages, we can get you up to date on the runners further back. P.G. Anderson's rally was over almost before it began. Skidding off the road on stage two with no spectators nearby to help push the SX4 back out of the ditch, the Swede would go no further. Multiple Argentinian national champion Federico Valagra has little experience driving on asphalt events, so understandably the Munchies four man is taking it easy in Spain. He's currently running in 15th. Valagra is fighting for position with his teammate Henning Solberg, who's another driver seeking to build up his confidence on tarmac. Norwegian is just half a second ahead of his teammate after stage four. Appearing in a world rally car for the first time on a WRC event is Frenchman Brice Tirabassi. The former junior world champion is driving a works-backed Subaru in Spain and Corsica. With little testing under his belt in the car, though, Brice is taking his time to get up to speed. He's currently in 12th. Just ahead of Tirabassi in 11th is British driver Matthew Wilson. Seven seconds ahead of Wilson is Suzuki's second entrant, Tony Gardemeister. Unlike most Finns, Tony is just as comfortable on tarmac as he is on gravel. But a costly spin on stage one has already left him playing catch-up. Back at the front, though, as expected, it's Sebastian Loeb who's made the best start. But he has his Citroen teammate and local hero Danny Sordo in close attendance. While the Citroens continue to edge away into the distance, the two four drivers, while doing their best to stay in touch, are still involved in their own battle for third. 
On stage five, as was the case on the first run through Quirrell, it's Hirvonen who gets the better of his teammate. The third fastest time on stage sees him move to the identical overall time as Duval. As was the case this morning, though, Francois fights back immediately. The Belgian's almost three seconds quicker on the final stage and moves back up to third. An intriguing battle between the boys from the Blue Oval, but it's the Citroens they'll want to catch the most over the next two days. Gardemeister is struggling through the stage here after hitting a rock. He's held up a number of drivers and it's caused another shuffle in the top eight. Ford's regular driver, Yanni Matti Latvala, is showing signs of improvement in his efforts to rebuild his fragile confidence. The Finn finally makes it past Mickelson to move up to seventh after the Norwegian was held up by Gardemeister. Latvala is now beginning to close on Ermo Arva. <laughs> Subaru's Chris Atkinson, too, is moving in the right direction. Opens. Then, six right plus long, 30 shot left. The Australian is setting some impressive times this afternoon, and on stage six, he moves back into the point-scoring places. Late seven right long, in, 30 late mid, seven left, narrow. Go. Out front, though, Loeb has been at his dominant best. Despite the best efforts of his Spanish teammate Sordo, Sebastian maintains his stage-winning monopoly. It's been a stunning day's driving from the championship leader. Loeb's advantage at the end of day one is just under 16 seconds ahead of Sordo. The Fords are now the best part of half a minute away from the second place driver, but the gap between third and fourth is still very narrow. Just 2.8 seconds separate Duval and Hirvonen. Sebastian, a perfect start to the rally. Yeah, perfect day for us. Uh, perfect day for Citroën, two first places. Uh, I'm leading, um, Danny is second, so yeah, everything is perfect. We do realise we're up against the two tarmac specialists, and uh, we were the last people to beat Sebastian back in 2004, I think, with, with Marco on this event and uh, Corsica. So, um, I mean, Miko knows he's, you know, he's still got work to do, and we've still got work to do with the car as well. It's not just the time you're losing here, it's the points. Is that meaning that Duval's going to cause you a problem? Yeah, it could be if he continues to fight like we did today. But at the moment I'm not worried about it yet. We had a good fight and uh, I was faster now in two stages than he caught me in the last one. So uh, it's going to be a good fight tomorrow. At the moment everything is okay, everything is perfect and the car is, is going well and uh, uh, I'm feeling well in the car so everything is good. But um, it's two long days to go, and uh, Danny's 15 behind. It begins to be more interesting, but uh, it's still not finished. Sebastian Loeb has had one of those days that you can only sit back and admire. You can keep up to date on his progress on WRC.com with all the latest results and news. Join us again tomorrow to see if the Fords can mount a fight back. Until then, though, it's goodbye.